In this video, I'm going to explain how to make beautiful chord progressions using pads in any DAW with a free plugin. You're probably wondering, how did I do that? This is a Ripcord 2.3 from Trackbot, free VST plugin. Look at the piano roll, it looks like an authentic live keyboard recording. I am a big fan of Akai MPC but perform future, but this is the next step. With the ripcord I can create realistic keyboard parts even on pads. I will switch to my MIDI keyboard just because I have more octaves here. Even if you're playing piano, Ripcord can help you to develop and remix new exciting chord progressions. Ripcord does not produce any sound, so you have to connect it to any instrument of your choice. Load Ripcord on empty track and activate in option. I have an electric piano here, MIDI in Ripcord and post effects ripcord as well. Now we are ready to play the chords. Here is the demo of some chord progressions I have made. progressions from the link in the description of this video and if you stick to the end I'll show you where you can get more. The easiest way to create chord progressions is to import some MIDI files into Ripcord. Now you can remix it to your liking and export as a preset. If you want to make the most out of Ripcord, here is a short tutorial about all most important Ripcord functions. Edit mode can be used to create a new preset from scratch or to edit an existing preset. This button will shift all the input keys that have chords assigned to them to the right or left. And we can move the chords to the black or to the white keys. This button will engage transpose keys. Thank you. 
pressing the same key twice will reset progression to the original key. Turning this knob will increase the knot strum. This knob adds random variations in timing between all of the notes in the chord. This knob will increase the velocity strum, which means the difference in velocity between the first and last notes of a chord. Clicking this button will switch the direction of the velocity strum. And here is my favorite settings for realistic piano parts playing. Just the right amount of timing and velocity randomness. Top notes have a higher velocity to enhance the melody, and this leads to very musical results. And finally, this will take you to the community presets page.